through the face, now I'm high like a blunt. Got too many hoes on my side like a pimp. Too many thoughts, uh, uh. Sippin' that drop, uh, uh. Sippin' that walk, uh. What's on that AB to watch, uh. Sippin' that act, I'm not sippin' no t. Hey yo, what's good, YouTube? Look, I'm reacting to all the trending videos on the trending section. Y'all might not like it, y'all might do like it. There might be some crazy videos, there might be some weird videos. But hey, if it's trending, I'm watching it. So, today we got one of my favorite, favorite scientists. Okay, this dude literally posts one video a year. And I'm not exaggerating, he literally posts one video a year. But hey, let's just get right into it. See what he made this time. Let's see what we can learn. Start my screen recording. Let's get right into the video. I'll be releasing the Glitter Bomb 3.0 video. It's got a bunch of new features, and it turns out even in 2020, there were no shortage of package thieves that involuntarily volunteered to test all those new features out for us. video isn't that. I'm making this video to tell you about something I've poured my guts into for almost a year, and it's like the biggest thing I've ever announced on my channel. But first, I have a confession, and that's I love ice cream. It's just objectively the best food that there is. But there's two problems with that. Number one, I have no impulse control to keep me from eating this entire tub in a single day. And number two, other people in my house also love it. So we are competing over a scarce resource. So I came up with an invention to protect the ice cream from my poor impulse control and other people in my house at the exact same time. And here it is. Do you see it? Of course you don't, because that's the first line of defense in action. It's camouflaged in this bag of frozen vegetables. But even if someone in my house were to accidentally stumble upon this bag of vegetables, this is what they'd find. It's impossible for even the world's strongest person to remove this lid, because it's clamped on with a quarter ton of force, and yet there are no buttons, latches, or locks. And it works because the lid and the base are made from different metals. So you place the carton right in the base, and then the lid just snugly slides on at room temperature. But when I put it in the freezer, the anodized aluminum lid shrinks 50% more than the stainless steel base does, essentially fusing them together. The trick then is to just run room temperature water over the lid, because when you increase their temperature, Aluminum also grows 50% more than steel. And this solves my impulse control issues because it makes me wait at least 30 seconds to think if I should really eat this ice cream. Yes! I'm recording. What is it? And in this case, yep, I definitely should. This idea just occurred to me one day, so I made it. And that's the thing I love about being an engineer. If you have an idea... Bro, this dude literally creates anything he thinks so. And he does it all in one year, and then he drops one video about it. And then moves on to the next thing, whatever comes up. This dude is crazy smart. It's ridiculous. ...about a thing, and that thing doesn't exist, you can just will it into existence. So here's my big announcement. I have been secretly working for nearly a year to create a month-long course that will teach you to use engineering and science to bring your own creative ideas to life. And we structured this course in such a way that it covers my entire creative design process while still being easy to follow and digestible. And this really is my entire process. You'll follow along with me as I create three different brand new builds, starting all the way from just coming up with the idea in the first place. So for example, for one of the three projects in the class, the design challenge is just some kind of build that has to do with habits. So it either helps enforce a good habit or breaks a bad one. And as you'll see in the class, as I was stepping through the brainstorming portion of the engineering design process, it it occurred to me, what if I could build something that could do both at the same time? Before this, I never actually known how to solve a Rubik's Cube, so this seemed like a worthy good habit. So every time I do it, I can just set it in this really cool retro blender I found on eBay that's also just camouflaged in my kitchen, and then it will check to see if I solved it correctly when I turn it on. And if I did, then the back pops open and I get rewarded with my favorite candy, which if it weren't locked away, I would eat every time I came through the kitchen because again, 
no impulse control. And normally on my channel, whether wow. it's an automatic bullseye dartboard, or the world's largest nerf gun, or super soaker, or a ninja warrior obstacle course for squirrels, it's just me presenting the final thing, and then you get to see it in action. But for this class, I pull back the curtain, and you get to see the creation process unfold in real time. You get to see all this those man. aha moments, the hundreds of little... This man is unbelievable. This dude takes science into a whole nother realm that lead to the final build as I talk you through my thought process and the techniques and tools that I'm using as I use them. But by far the coolest part is you get to practice this process yourself and that's where the true learning occurs. Together we'll follow the engineering design process side by side. No matter what your starting skill level is, the course is designed so that by the end of the month you will leave the class with three original creative builds of your own that you can proudly show off to the world. And other students will be in the class with you, so you can learn together and get feedback, and I'll be in there sometimes too, leaving comments and video responses on people's work. And so just to give you a little flavor of the class, here's like a 60 second sneak peek. You guys ready? The first build is mechanical. Here are my five requirements now. We want to make sure we have a bunch of different starting points. What's the right arc that they should have? <laughs> Each time it's spun around, EDC pipe here. I don't even know what this is for in real life, but it's small, it's cheap. My work is I'll just raise the back of the catapult up, and that will give me a different launch angle. Three, two, one, launch. And then this comes all the way back, and then boop, and it comes down. This makes sense in 2D, now I've got to take this 2D and like map it to the 3D here. It's a shear load, it's not like a tension load. So that may be enough. You get a force going back that way, goes through the eyelet, and then comes back to me. Captures it, fires, lovely. It impacts on this shoulder right here. Bro, I'm not doing too much talking, bro. Usually when I do reactions, I want to actually like see you do reaction, not do too much talking for y'all, because I know y'all hate when people do a lot of talking. So I like to get straight to the point and let y'all know, but like, bro, when I watch him, bro, I'm really learning some stuff, bro. And this dude is like, he's legit, bro, he's legit. No cap, no cap. It's a dice roll at every gate, basically. So the fewer gates you have, the less complex the system is. The fewer moving parts, always the more reliable it's going to be. Oh, baby! Got it! <laughs> it's basically like us hanging out together as I walk you through my entire process. In fact, if you combine all the videos in the course, it's longer than the combined time of all the videos I've uploaded to YouTube in my 10 years on the platform. And the goal of the class is not just to expose you to all the tools and techniques that I use, but to teach you to think like an engineer. But like in the good way, not in the way that makes my wife frustrated when we have to talk about feelings. And the process I'll be teaching you is the same process I used at Apple as a product designer, it's the same process I used at NASA to help build the Curiosity rover, and it's the same exact process I use every month on all my YouTube videos. We'll cover mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, 3D printing, prototyping, CAD, Arduino and Raspberry Pi, the scientific method, and so much more, including how to tell a great story around your build and give it character so people will naturally want to share it. And if you hear all that and you're like, Psh, that's way over my head, don't worry, because hopefully you trust me enough by now to know that I love to try and take these really complex things and break them down to their most basic elements so that they make sense even for someone just starting out. Now to be clear, if this is your first time dipping your toes in the water, I'm definitely not promising that by the end of the month you'll be making like fully functioning glitter bombs. But you will have a fundamental understanding of how a mechanical and electrical build like this works, and exposure to all of the steps and processes by which something like this is made. Like there's no element of this glitter bomb that we don't at least somehow touch on in the class. We really tried to design the course so that anyone could create at the edge of their abilities, whatever they currently are. Now, if you're an adult or a professional engineer, I'm confident you will get a lot out of this class. But on the other end of the spectrum, a question I've already been asked is what's sort of the right minimum age level where it won't feel overwhelming? And I'd say for sure anyone like high school or above will be fine. Having said that, I've met some pretty precocious eight-year-olds that are already into building and electronics, and I think they'd be fine too. Otherwise, this is a great month-long activity for maybe a parent and their kid, or even a whole family to tackle together. At the end of the day, if you're not quite sure, you can just sign up to test it out, and then get a full refund up until day five of the class. 
Yes. The company I partner with is called Monthly, and they're great. They specialize in these month-long accelerated learning courses, and their user satisfaction ratings are super high across the board. So you can feel confident this would make a great holiday gift, or just a fantastic way to start the new year by making a resolution to learn some new skills that will serve you for the rest of your creative life. So if you're looking for a new hands-on way to bring your creative ideas to life, or if you've always been interested in science and engineering and want to further invest in this interest, or if you're just a more experienced engineer looking for a fresh way to do things, then this class is for you. Just go to monthly.com slash markrover or use the link in the video description to check it out and then enroll in this month-long learning experience with me. Wow. Um, yeah, that was Mark Wolf. Wolf. I'm not going to butcher his last name so we don't care. That was Mark, right? Basically. Scientist. Um, I thought he was going to have a crazy... Something crazier, but that ice cream thing was kind of actually cool. But yeah, man. If y'all enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's see if I can drop five videos today. You never know. Alright, man. I love y'all. It's been your boy, Keys. I'm out. Go. Go. We're getting money. Don't care about what they on.